the first and foremost important thing is to understand what is maven why we are using maven and how do we install uh, maven jars and how do we add add-ons for maven for eclipse and how do we uh, understand how why we require maven why not we go a simple java project etc okay so let's start so what is this maven maven is this build management tool what is this build management tool you know that we uh, as an annual testers whenever we are given a new build developers create a new build and provide as a new build right so what happens with this so they either they have to follow any of the frameworks like uh, they can go with maven they go can we they can go with ant or they can go with a simple java project but in these days maven has become so famous that every project which was developed in a simple java project or a simple ant project is moved to maven the reason is it is very simple and maintenance of a maven project is very simple compared to any other projects so let's open the main website of maven and see what are the features that it is providing for anyone so creating a project with maven is a very simple it's very apache maven is a software project management and comprehension tool based on the concept of project object model POM. this is the heart of maven project object model maven can manage a projects build reporting and documentation from a central piece of information so the first statement itself says that it is based on a project object model that means if you want something to your project you need can provide it in the form of a dependency if you provide it in the form of a dependency maven will take care of downloading the jar files maven will take care of configuring that jar files everything it will take care and along with that maven provides a reporting concept you don't require to separately provide a reporting concept if within maven providing the jar files you can make sure that the maven re reporting can be provided along with that it take cares of reporting uh, documentation as well that is uh, whatever the jar files that i added how many developers are working and x along with that what are the uh, jar files reporting it's everything everything that you have done within that project can be maintained in the form of a documentation that's this maven pro some of the maven dependencies can help us in doing that so we don't require to do anything we just require to do what we provide within maven and maven will take care of doing all those things okay so this is starting uh, website of maven so we don't as a developer of uh, people may require huge knowledge on maven how to do this and all those things but as an automation engineer if you learn five percent to ten percent of what maven can do that's more than enough we can go ahead and implement a simple automation project so what am i doing i am going to create first of all before creating a project i have to download maven to my computer as we in the first video we have done that we are configuring java so that we can use java to create our projects in the same way we need to do for maven as well so download maven so here is the maven download so maven has three different versions 2.2.0 2.2.1 and 3.0 version but uh, i prefer going with 2.2.1 the reason is 2.2.1 is a very standard version and all the dependencies are supported by 2.2.1 so at present 3.0.5 is going on so 3.1 is there 3.05 is alpha version of 3.1 and uh, 3.05 standard version is there so i am downloading uh, 2.2.1 
2.1 so in my computer i have already installed this so i'll show you how this is done so i'll show you first of all in my computer i have this maven so see apache maven this is uh, 3.4 but in my computer i think it is installed 2.2.1 let's see so how do i configure this the same way that we have done for java we have to go to my computer right click properties go to advanced environmental variables first of all see i have 3.0.4 better go with 2.2.1 so i have been doing some research in my computer on 3.0.4 and at 2.2.1 so that's why i have replaced maven with 3.0.4 so first of all what you need to do is you need to unzip that jar file of apache maven and place it in any folder once you place it you have to give the path always remember so i'm just showing you over here again apache is downloaded here so you need to give where you can see the bin folder till there you need to give the path of maven if you download for example in general pod people do is they download this maven into another maven folder so you should not can get confused that okay i see maven 23.4 so i have to do that no you should see this bin folder on the screen till there you need to copy that don't copy till bin only where you can see the pin so copy that and put it in the environmental variables come to user variables of your computer there you put create a new new variable and give the naming convention as maven underscore home always remember maven underscore home should be in capital letters and the path has to be put in the variable value okay this is what i have done over here so i'll show you that even here so edit so this is what i have done i have given here okay so once this is done another important thing that you need to remember is you need to give java underscore home if java underscore home is not found in this either in the user variables or in the system variables anywhere you can put if this is not found your maven will not run always make sure that java underscore home is available in your computer this path is specified till jdk if this is not available maven is not recognized in your computer okay so once this is done you need to come to path edit by default when you install your microsoft operating system path variable will be available so just go to path not path text path click on edit at the end at the end take the path till bin till the bin if you take the path copy that path and paste it at the end of the variable name in the path and put a semicolon so uh, put a semicolon at the starting like this and paste that value don't put the semicolon at the end it's not required so till bin put it after that so i have it in my computer so i'm not doing that so after that click on ok click on apply because i'm doing cancel here uh, don't do cancel at your end do ok ok here do the apply and click on ok that's it so to check whether the maven is installed in your computer or not so go to command prompt maven minus version should be m1 mvn see 
MVL minus minus version. Give a space between Maven Maha space hyphen hyphen version and you will see the version of Maven that you have installed in your computer. This is mandatory that you need to check. Okay. This is required that you need to check whether the Maven is installed in your computer or not.